Ahoy hoy ghost and ghouls and welcome to the Treehouse of Horror month. This is the third part of a series where I count each and every death in the Treehouse specials. So if you haven't seen the previous two, I'd recommend watching those first as I'll be continuing where I left off. But be warned because the five specials I'm about to talk about are some of the most gruesome yet. So let's not waste any more time. I'm Lydia Voorhees and this is the Treehouse of Horror death count 16 to 20. Before we continue, I'd like to say a big thank you to my newest flying hellfish Patreon, Pingu. Because of you and my other Patreons, I can dedicate more time to the channel. If you'd like to join the club, then check out the link in the description below. Treehouse of Horror 16 the episode starts with quite literally a bang, because after Kodos eats a living growth on his neck, he destroys the earth, decimating everyone on the planet, bringing the death count up to 7.8 billion. No, I'm not really going to count the entire population, so let's bring that back down. In BI, artificial intelligence, Bart lapses into a coma after falling out of a window. Homer and Marge replace him with a robot boy. And when Bart awakens, he is shocked to find that he's been replaced. And jealous, he slices David the robot in half. And the next segment contains a whole bunch of other kills. In the parody The Most Dangerous Game and Survival of the Fittest, Homer competes in the World Series of Manhunter, with Mr. Burns hunting him and others in town for trophies. The first person to die is Comic Book Guy, who would rather be blasted with a shotgun over running. The blue haired lawyer is shot next, after drawing up a legal contract allowing Burns to hunt people. But thankfully, there's an abundance of lawyers in Springfield. Can you imagine a world without lawyers? Oh. Apu is shot while hiding in a bush, but luckily he gets reincarnated as a bunny, only to get caught in a trap, but as we don't see him die, we won't count that. Krusty the Clown is shot repeatedly. Dr. Hibbert, Dr. Nick, Lou, Kirk Van Houten, the Yes Guy and Ken Brockman are gunned down by Mr. Burns with a shotgun. And Mo gets impaled by a weather vane and while skewered he decides to pass the time by scratching his scratch card and finds that he's won the jackpot. But before he can free himself, Wigob lands on top of him. And after only six hours of being hunted, Homer has already converted to cannibalism by eating Professor Frank. And Burns guns down Carl, Sideshow Mel, Groundskeeper Willie, Mr. Larjo and Lenny in his plane. And then Barney is shot next. And when Smithers opens the head sack, we see the beheaded Otto and the captain. But Marge saves her homie by beating Mr. Burns and Smithers over the head. But they are only knocked out and not killed. In I've Grown a Costume on Your Face, a witch casts a spell at a Halloween party, turning everyone into what their costume is. So because Disco Stew had an arrow prop in his head, the spell causes it to go through his skull. And a pack of wild dogs eats Mayor Quimby, whose head is now a cheeseburger. And Martin Prince, who is now a fairy, is sprayed with bug spray. Treehouse of Horror 17. And this episode starts very rightedly off with a big, huge crush, as Mo Sislak is crushed in an Iron Maiden by Zombie Smithers in the opener. In Marry to the Blob, Homer eats a green extraterrestrial goo and morphs into a rampaging blob with an unsatisfiable appetite. And he sees Springfield as an all-you-can-eat buffet, gobbling up anyone he sees, including Squeaky Voice Teen. Four German people at Oktoberfest, including Utta, Fat Tony, Comic Book Guy, four umpires, four women from the Facts of Life reunion tour, three men dressed in Hawaiian shirts, and swallows three people on a bus, including Flanders. And Dr. Phil tries to reason with him, pleading to stop his gluttonous ways, but he's also eaten by Homer. And Homer's final meal is six homeless people. In You Gotta Know When to Gollum, Bart finds the Gollum of Prague a creature from Jewish mythology. In a flashback to its creation, the clay sculpture comes back to life and shoots eight people with a shotgun. The Gollum, now working for Krusty, shoots two people who don't appreciate the clown's jokes. When Bart becomes the new master of Gollum, he instructs it to tear off the heads of his bullies. 
But according to the newspaper the next day, Jimbo, Kearney and Dolph miraculously survived and were only hospitalised. Bart then sets Gollum on his principal who uses him as a yo-yo until his body splits in half. In the day the Earth looks stupid, the residents of the early 1930s Springfield are fooled by Orson Welles' War of the Worlds. During the madness, the town turned on one another. Mo beats Barney with a baseball bat and Homer guns down Lenny and Stu before cutting off the head of the captain. But it turns out it wasn't just a play after all, as Kang and Kodos arrive on Earth, who pluck up Wiggum and suck his insides out. They then go on to destroy most of Springfield, but we don't see any bodies. Treehouse of Horror 18. The episode starts with Marge talking about Halloween, but she is interrupted by pop-up adverts for Fox shows. So she sprays four miniature football players to death, turns a cop into mush, and cooks house in a microwave. And the first segment in this episode is E.T. Go Home. Bart discovers Kodos hiding in the backyard. The alien asks for help so he can contact home. While running away from the government military, Kodos explodes their heads with a ray gun. Imagine if E.T. did that, instead of just flying off on a little bike. Kodos manages to bring hordes of his own kind into Earth to take over. But the army arrives and begin to take down the green domed creatures with an array of missiles. Homer then blasts Kodos into goo before suffocating Kang with a pillow. In Mr. and Mrs. Simpson, Homer and Marge are killers for hire. Homer is hired to take down Kent Brockman, but is beaten to the punch by Marge, who stabs the news anchor. Homer tries to take down the mysterious woman, but accidentally takes down four men in the process. He then shoots down the captain and disco stew and snipes a waiter whose blood then fills up a pyramid of wine glasses. Back at home, Homer and Marge find out about their secret lives of one another, and an all-out war ensues. But poor Grandpa gets caught in the crossfire. And when Wiggum investigates the disturbance, he is shot in the chest by Marge with an arrow. And the episode ends with the two of them shooting the principal. In Heck House, Ned asks for God's help to scare some sense into the local naughty children, after their tricks get wildly out of hand, such as causing a truck driver to plough into a building and explode. And as we only see the truck driver here, I'm only counting one death. The kids are then sucked into hell and are shown the dangers of the seven deadly sins. For anger, they show Willy kicking his truck before it transforms into a living machine and slices off his head. Hibbert is crushed by a car for having pride in his children's accomplishments and Homer is sliced into tiny cubes by his hammock for gluttony. This twisted lesson seems to work as the children promise to never misbehave again. We'll see how long that lasts. Treehouse of Horror 19 The episode opens with Homer attempting to vote for Obama, but the machine chews him up and spits him out. In unentitled robot parody, Grandpa Simpson has a heart attack after inhaling too much oxygen. The next segment is a parody of drama television series Mad Men. Homer is paid to take out celebrities so advertisers can use their likeness in commercials for free. Firstly, Homer takes out Krusty the Clown by pushing him into a wood chipper in a really gnarly death scene. Homer then drowns George Clooney in quicksand, which is probably deserved after Batman and Robin, stabs Prince with a guitar, and bludgeons Neil Armstrong with a golf club. Meanwhile in heaven, the dead celebrities and historical figures are outraged by these exploits. They descend from above and start blasting people at a party. Edward G. Robinson shoots Wiggum for ripping him off, and Krusty explodes Homer's head with a shotgun blast. In It's the Grand Pumpkin, Milhouse is waiting in a pumpkin patch for the Grand Pumpkin on Halloween. The pumpkin comes alive by Milhouse's tears, but the Great Pumpkin goes on a killing spree after finding out his own kind were butchered and eaten. I guess I'll put my pumpkin spice latte down. The start of his revenge is eating Homer whole after watching him carve his brethren. The Great One then crashes into the school, all Kool-Aid man style. Oh yeah! He then swallows Willy, which I know sounds a bit dirty, for cooking the unborn. And he eats Nelson. 
and next we see him scooping out Skinner's brains in order to make a Seymour lantern. And then Tom Turkey crashes into the party to save the day. Using his cornucopia, he blasts a hole in the great pumpkin. The head splits open to reveal Homer, Willie and Nelson all still alive. So let's deduct those three kills from the counter. But Tom Turkey is appalled to find out that his own kind are slaughtered and eaten, so he vows revenge and starts plucking the children to eat. Treehouse of Horror 20 The episode starts with the Simpsons having a classic Halloween party, and then the iconic monsters crash the party to join in the fun. But when these monsters' wives turn up, they are appalled to find their spouses cheating. Homer tries to defuse the situation by saying, it's not cheating when you're wearing a costume. But I'm not sure Marge would agree with this statement. It's not like Maud was wearing a costume over that whole Peanuts instant. And the wives then proceed to attack Homer, tearing off his head where it lands in the fruit bowl. We then go into our first segment, dial M for murder or press hash to return to the main menu. Lisa is forced into a Hitchcockian murder scheme by Bart. Bart tells her that he will get revenge on Miss Hoover if she gets revenge on Miss Crabapple. Lisa only ding dong ditches Miss Crabapple while Bart decapitates Miss Hoover. He then beheads Skinner. Lisa then realises that the only way to end this is by killing her brother. She chases after him with a knife in hand across the whole school. While running away, Bart bumps into Hitchcock where he tumbles off Mount Rushmore. She finally catches up to Bart but says she's not the murderer and tosses the knife away. But when it comes back down, it impels itself into Bart's head. Edna applauds Lisa and spins Bart's dead body away with the playground roundabout. In Don't Have a Cow, Mankind, a parody of 28 Days Later and Children of Men, Krusty's new burger squared is released. But not only does it go straight to your waist, it also turns you into a zombie. And Kent Brockman is the first to try the new burger and is instantly transformed into a zombie. He then takes a big chunk out of Krusty's arm, turning him into a zombie. Kent then bites the squeaky voice teen and zombie Krusty eats the cameraman. The scene cuts forward to 28 days later to reveal the whole town has been overtaken by the zombie plague. Now unlike the last zombie episode where we couldn't tell who was freshly bitten or who had risen from the graves, everyone in this segment are freshly turned into zombies and that includes pretty much the entire town. So I have done the painstaking task of counting every single zombie and dead person I see on screen. The things I do for you people. Throughout the episode, I counted at least 188 people. So that wraps up the Treehouse of Horror death count 16 to 20. So the final count so far is 805 deaths. That number is only going to skyrocket next week when we continue the kill count. So be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out. Which of these kills are your favourites and which Treehouse special do you like the most? Let me know in your comments below. And I'd like to take this moment to say thank you to my gorgeous flying hellfish patreons, James Whitehead, Timothy Burleson, who else but Zane, Liam Elvin and Pingu. If you'd like to support the channel and get early access to videos and other perks, then check out the link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and smell you later.